good morning everyone in this video we are going to discuss about the some uh, uh, basics on systems now basically what do you mean by system is a system which contains some components or devices or subsystems so which can be processed by some input signals and it will be produce some outputs so again i'm telling so system can be like a is some components so it's maybe a filter type it, is, it may be a amplifier or it may be some diff, um, communication system which is having so many interconnected systems right so that is like a system so this system will process some input signals and it will produce some output signal so it may be continuous system it may be discrete system so this is enough for uh, the gate this is about a system now these are the main properties we have to discuss so in uh, gate regularly they will ask some uh, equation is given the system is linear or causal or time invariant or uh, invertibility or with and without memory right these are the system properties that is so systems with with and without memory how to identify system has a with memory or no no memory similarly linearity causality time invariant invertibility and invert systems so first i will discuss with and without memory with and without memory now suppose if a, a equation is given like this y of t is equal to simply x of t right the present inputs will depend on the present present inputs will depend on the present output that is so at t equal to 0 we will get y of 0 is equal to a into x of 0 right t equal to 1 same a into x of 1 so this system has no memory no memory right so the moment you see only t turn so we you can easily identify the system has no memory suppose if y of t is equal to some b into x of t minus 1 plus x of t plus 1 now how to identify this is have memory or no memory so substitute y of 0 so b into x of 0 minus 1 minus 1 plus x of 1 now see i need G y output at 0 but we need to see the input at minus 1 as well as plus 1 so that means the system has has a memory so identify like this so the system is uh, depend on the previous input etc right that is about the continuous time similarly discrete time also we can say like this y of n is equal to some 2 into x of n minus x square n whole square if it is like this so whatever the uh, system simply see y of 0 so 2 into x of 0 minus x square of 0 whole square so it depends on the 0 itself only so it has no memory similarly some different condition like y of n is equal to x of n minus 1 so the system has memory right now one more example also i can take y of n is equal to sigma n equal to minus infinity to n x of i mean uh, it is k k equal to minus infinity to n x of k this system is also having a memory so so this is about the system with without with and without memory to identify next one is linear next one is linear t this one is also very simple suppose we are having uh, two signals x1 of t and x2 of t if we multiply like this we should get the output as a into y1 of t plus b into y2 of t so this is the only one equation we need to satisfy if it is a discrete a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n should be equal to a into y1 of n plus b into y2 of n now how to identify this is suppose y of t is equal to some x2 of i mean x of t minus 1 plus x of t minus 2 is it a linear or non-linear it's very simple so 
take it as a into x1 of t so that will become y1 of t is equal to a into x1 of t minus 1 plus a into x1 of t minus 2 in place of x of t substitute a into x1 of t similarly y2 of t will lead to b into x2 of t minus 1 plus b into x2 of t minus 2 so if we so what is this if i multiply add a into x1 of t minus 1 plus a into x1 of t minus 2 plus b into x2 of t minus 1 plus b into x2 of t minus 2 now it leads to if i take a common this is x1 of t minus 1 plus x1 of t minus 2 similarly b into x2 of t minus 1 plus x2 of t minus 2 so it is nothing but y2 of t and it is nothing but y1 of t right so so this is a linear we can say simply now the moment suppose f y of t is equal to sine of some x of t so obviously this is not non-linear right so we can verify like this so by assuming some x2 of t is equal to something like that then you can easily verify suppose <coughs> at x1 of t what is y of y1 of t it is sine of x1 of t similarly x2 of t is equal to y2 of t sine of x2 of t now assume some x3 of t is equal to some a into x1 of t plus b into x2 of t so what is y3 of t will become y3 of t will become sine of x3 of t so what is the sine of x3 of t a sine of a into x1 of t plus b into x2 of t so sine of a plus b so if you uh, separate this so I, we will never get a into x1 of y1 of t plus b into y2 of t so this is not equal to like this so it's a non-linear function sine of a plus b will become sine of sine a that is sine of a into x1 of t into sine cos b into x2 of t which is not never equal to a into y1 of t plus b into y2 of t <laughs> right this is about the linear thing the moment now there is a one more uh, what you call uh, easy method to identify suppose y of t is equal to <coughs> x of t plus something like this the moment we see some constant it is a non-linear suppose if it is like the x1 of t into x2 of t or x1 of something like a multiplication multiplication so again it is a non-linear right so you can easily identify which one is linear which one is non-linear right the next property we will see in the next video